Hey. Morning. How do you sleep? Oh, good. No, you don't need to get up. I was just trying not to disturb you. You were sleeping pretty heavily, but I guess I still woke you up. No, I, I haven't been awake very long. I just got up to start brewing the morning coffee. And then it was time to get back under the covers before I got too cold. No, there's, there's no hurry. I'll bring you your coffee when it's ready. There's really no need to get up at all. I took care of everything. Oh, and I also did get out those handcuffs. Like I said, you were pretty knocked out. Your hand was right next to the bed post, so... I just knew you were gonna try to get right up and start moving when you woke up. So, I wanted to tie you down. Help you stay here with me. Slow down a little bit. So, they can wait. I just saw how tired you were last night and all week even. The week before that. I know how much you work and how you never get a break. And you deserve a break. A break from all the work and chores, at least. But there's one thing you can do at the moment. I need to rest my head somewhere comfortable. I need to get warm again. So, I've decided you're going to be my pillow. For now, that's your job. I'm sorry if your free hand is cold, but the rest of you is nice and warm. What? When do you get to go? Until I say so, of course. No, I, I didn't say you had a choice in the matter. This is how it's going. Just like that. Just move a little more like this. Move your head back a little bit. Alright. Perfect. We're gonna relax here. Just like this. And I promise I'll do my best not to touch you. My hands are quite cold. And while we're at it, as long as you do the same. Yep. How are you feeling? Are you comfortable? I see. If the restraint is hurting you, we can take it off. But, hey, what, what are you doing? Oh no, you, you're not leaving me. Really? Come on. Where do you think you're gonna go anyway? Oh. Oh, oh, oh you're, you're trying to push me off, huh? Look. Just stay still, will you? <laughs> okay, you've, you've asked for it. You really want me to do this the hard way? Oh, well, don't, don't touch me with your cold hand. You are not going anywhere. Just stay still. There. No, I, I told you it's not up to you. You need some cuddle time. And you're going to enjoy it whether you like it or not. Do I need to cuff up your other hand too? Okay. That's right. Tell me who's in charge here. <laughs> Good. I like the sound of that. Say it again. Yeah, that's better. 
How are you going to be good? You can turn on your side if that's more comfortable. I'll just stay right here. Is that better? That's right. We're here until I'm ready. When I'm ready to let you up, which might be in another hour or two. I'm really nice and comfortable now that we've warmed up to each other. We're going to take a minute to enjoy how this feels. How often do we really just get to feel each other? Feel the soft sheets. Feel these apart. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything with my hands. I'm just resting here. See? No tricks. You can just stop for one minute, okay? There's no errands to run. No work to be done. Nothing's gonna happen if we just rest for a while. Yeah, we, we do have to eat sometime, but it can wait. I don't really feel like getting up right now. I... No, we do a lot of running around. I'm also pretty guilty of getting caught up in things too. But I should remind you how much I appreciate you. I'm sorry I don't do this very often. But I love you. No arguing, okay? I know there's stuff to do. And we'll get it done soon. This, uh, there's, there's just one thing we needed to do now, but this is it. Just cuddle it. You'll have more jobs waiting for you later, as long as I'm in charge. I can order you around for your mandated girlfriend cuddling. Or maybe the government assigned hugs. But you're doing so good. We'll see. I might decide to knock off an hour or two of duty to reward your good behavior. <laughs> it won't be gone forever, though. It'll just be delayed. You still owe me the rest of another day. Because we always need each other. Does that sound fair? Yeah. I always want you to rest like this. Because you deserve it. You know? You deserve rest. To take a break from everything. I promise anything you need to do today, it can wait. Right now, you just get alone time with me. And I hold you down like this. <laughs> you're so cute when you're tied up. I promise I won't do anything naughty to you, though. It's just to make sure you don't work too hard. I guess if you do want to play some games or something, that's okay. But the moment I let you go, if you try to work, You'll have to be punished, you know? <laughs> Although, you might like that, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes you're a bit of a freak, you know that? But it's okay. You're my little freak. My little hard worker. I'm so proud of how far you've come. You've honestly impressed me every single day. You know that? I wouldn't want to love anybody else. Nobody else could please me and make me so proud. So you deserve this. How about you close your eyes and rest a little longer? 
and then later, I'll give you your warm breakfast. Sleep well, my love, and dream of me. Somebody's fast asleep. And you're cuddling Mr. Fluffles, too. <laughs> oh my god. You're so cute, baby. What did I do to deserve someone like you? It's kind of cold in here, you know? At this rate, you're gonna catch a cold. Let me get some blankets. Here we go. I hope you're nice and cozy, baby. Oh. Hey. Hey, baby. I'm, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? Yeah, I just got back from the grocery store. We ran out of milk and peanut butter, so I went to get the it looks like uh, you're still recharging your batteries, huh? Oh, what was that? Don't go? Baby, I'm just going to the kitchen. You don't want me to go to the kitchen? <laughs> okay, fine. I can't say no to those big puppy doll guys of yours. Excuse me, let me squeeze next to you. Happy now? Mm. <laughs> I'm staying right here with you. And I'm cuddling with you. Yeah. You know, this is really nice. I could really use a nap. Especially since we're both under the blanket. It's nice and warm. <laughs> what are you doing, honey? Hmm? Ah, looking for the right spot, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. It's hard to find the perfect comfy spot. And cuddling can be kind of uncomfortable if you don't get it right. Take your time, okay? It's nothing. Getting the perfect spot takes a lot of trial and error, you know? How about you try... waving your head... like this... on my chest? Do you like that? Okay. Lift your upper body a little bit. And let me get under you. There. That should be good, right? Mm. <laughs> I'll take that nod as a yes. You want to know how my trip was? The grocery store was fine, honestly. Same as always. There weren't that many people there today. I mean, it is in the afternoon, so it's not rush hour. My trip wasn't that long either. Yeah, it was a 15 minute walk. And then I got the stuff pretty quick. And another 15 minutes back. It's probably been less than an hour since I left. Were you sleeping this whole time? Ah, you were watching Big Thoughts? Of course. And then you just got so sleepy you knocked out, huh? <laughs> That's so you, baby. I 
I mean, it's not a wonder that you just passed out like that. You are pretty sleep deprived. Baby, what time did you sleep last night? 3 a.m.? <laughs> Seriously? Baby, what are you doing? You know better than to stay up late like that. You know it's not good for you, right? What were you watching? Were you watching anime again? Ah. Your favorite one. I remember that. What were you watching? Were you re-watching? Ah. You're trying to memorize the whole plot. You want to tell your friends all about it, I guess, right? I think I've heard that one, though. I might have watched a few episodes. I don't know that much about it, though. I kind of watch other anime. I like watching stuff like... Spy Fam. You know, just the usual stuff. It's a lot of investment to watch longer anime like that. And sometimes the special episodes can be like an hour long, aren't they? You watch a lot more than me. I can't really keep up with that pace. You definitely have a lot more stamina than me. You can watch shows for hours and hours. I can only watch for maybe an hour max before I get tired. I really can't bend watch shows. My attention spans kind of low. I have a lot of other stuff to do too. My brain constantly wants to be busy. Yeah, I'm not perfect, baby, you know that. Mm. Yeah, well, watching anime is your thing, and yeah. playing games is mine. I think it's good that we have differences. After all, we are two different people. It's alright for us to have differences, you know? And, yeah, I, I do love that about you. I mean, if we're the exact same, then it'll be kind of boring. If you have someone in your life that has a different perspective, then it's very good and refreshing. It means we'll always have something to talk about. I... I love you, babe. With all of your differences. All of your perfect imperfections. You're, you're not perfect, but you're perfect to me. You're the perfect one for me. I guess I think what matters is the feeling that I have whenever I'm with you. I always feel really safe around you. Because I can really just be who I am. I don't need to hide. And I can just tell you my every thought and I know that you'll still accept me as I am. No one has really done that for me before. And that makes you irreplaceable. My baby. My beloved sweetie pie. You get to lie on my chest. <laughs> I know that look on your face. You're gonna go to sleep, aren't you? That's fine, baby. You know what? I could probably use an afternoon nap, too. So, let's just take it easy for today, okay? Sweet dreams, baby. 
I love you. I love you so, so much. Mm. 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 Good night, my sleeping beauty. Sleep well. Hey, babe. Babe. Yeah. Look up here. Right here, baby. Look in my eyes, okay? I know you hate making eye contact, but you have to, okay? Look. What's bothering you? You keep looking at me, but you don't say anything. Yeah, no, you're, you're not just watching the show with me. Every two minutes you look up at me and think about something and then you look away. Clearly you want to tell me something. So what is it? <laughs> that is truly groundbreaking news. I didn't know you had class tomorrow. I'm I'm teasing, babe. I I knew. Just tell me. Come on. I I know you have to go to class, but what else is on your mind? You were wondering. Come on, just Say it. Don't be shy. There's no reason. It's fine, baby. I promise. I promise I won't make fun of you. I, I would never. You're actually so adorable. You know that? No, I'm, I'm not making fun of you. It's a good thing. I know maybe you don't like being called adorable, but... I think you're pretty cute, even though you might think you're so tough and strong. You're cute to me. So you want me to come with you tomorrow? But why? It's, it's just a bit random, you know? I've never come to class with you before and you're just asking out of the blue? Nobody's bothering you, right? Or are they? Because you know that they would have to go through me if they want anything to do with you, right? I really would love to go with you tomorrow, but the thing is, I, I'm pretty busy with my own class. But Honestly, I've already skipped a lot, so maybe it doesn't matter anyway. I guess I can come with you, but are you sure there isn't some special reason? Why are you asking so randomly, baby? I know what's going on here. I... <laughs> are you wanting to show me off to your friends? You have a bunch of friends in this class, don't you? I don't think I've met any of your friends yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. You you definitely don't care about stuff like that, right? But, I mean, if you wanted me to meet them, I could just go when you ask. You don't have to hide it, you know? You don't have to be so shy. Babe, your phone buzz. I can grab your phone for you. <laughs> it's underneath my leg, actually. The vibration kind of felt a little weird, but... Here. Why are you smiling? What's so funny, huh? Someone 
sent you a meme. Who was it? What? Wait a minute. I, I thought you weren't talking to her anymore. Is, is she supposed to be in, in your project, your group project or something? Who was it? It was her, wasn't it? The girl that you always talk about bothering you in your group. And she sends you memes. Yeah, of course there's something wrong with that, babe. That's, that's my job. I'm supposed to be the one to make you laugh. Sending you memes about stuff you like is, is my thing. Other girls shouldn't be doing that, you know? Babe, when, when a girl sends you memes like that, it's, it's indicating she's putting a bit of time aside for you and clearly she's trying to get in your pants and I, I can't be having that, babe. You're mine. That's my job. And she's trying to take it away from me. That's not gonna happen. It's too far. What? I'm taking this too far. Babe, you're, you're not taking this far enough. Right here. I'm starving for you. I want you. All that I can have of you. And this girl thinks that she can chat you up and send you all these things and take away from our time. I can't let her keep doing that. Okay, fine. I'll calm down, but... Babe, before we end this conversation, I... I have to ask one question, okay? This is a serious question. You need to answer honestly, okay? Whose... memes are funnier? Mine or hers? Why are you... Why are you not answering? Are you telling me that you find hers funnier than mine? Because... <sighs> okay. Good. Okay, I'm, I'm still number one. But... How many girls send you memes? Oh my god. You're telling me all these girls have been trying to flirt with you and get your attention this entire time and you had no idea. I had no idea. Babe, of course they're trying to get your attention. That's one of the ways people know how to flirt anymore. It's my way of flirting with you. Showing love to you. If other girls are showing you love in the same way I do, it, it's not fair. Yeah, babe, I, I know you're not going to cheat, but it still annoys me. It annoys me that other people like you. You just have to be so beautiful. So attractive. Everybody told me I was so lucky for dating a 10 out of 10. But every day, everybody wants you. Excuse me. Are you saying that you're not a 10 out of 10? No. You are. This many girls wouldn't try to be getting with you if you weren't. The fact that you don't even realize it probably makes it even more attractive. I mean, it does to me. You just have to be so desirable. As much as I hate to say this, other girls find you attractive. Yeah. They do. And that annoys me. It irritates me so much. Because you're mine. 
You're only mine. Clearly you're too naive to see the problem here. But no, I'm I'm not breaking up with you. You are so head empty sometimes. Listen, babe, tomorrow I'm gonna walk you to class, okay? And I'm gonna have to get something done with whatever your friends are wanting to send you. That girl in your group is trying to get your attention. I'm gonna have to show her that you belong to me. I'll mark you as my territory and I'll make sure she knows you're mine. And not just her, every other girl. No, no, don't worry. I know you could. I know you'd get shy with all the public affection, so... I won't do anything too crazy, okay? We'll be holding hands. Maybe... One kiss. Okay, fine. Maybe a hug. Okay. Just a hug, baby. I don't care, it gets you nervous, I'm, I'm just gonna give you one hug, and maybe squish your butt a little bit too, <laughs> I'm kidding, I love you so much baby, like I said, you're a 10 out of 10, yes you are, yes you are, don't fight me on this, because you're not going to win. And if you do fight me, I'll have to put you in your place, okay? You're so cute. Just wait. Tonight, I'll mark you all over. And then what are they going to do? They'll know you're already mine. Good morning. No, baby, don't leave. I was actually having a lot of fun, you know? Don't call me a creep. How am I a creep? You are literally my boyfriend. I wouldn't say that's exactly true anyway. Because for starters... I was just minding my own business last night. And then you just, I don't know, left on top of me. And then you were fast asleep. A few things might have happened before, but... You proceeded to wrap your hands around me and hug me very tightly. There's even more, too, you know? You started nuzzling me. And you kept making all these soft, cute noises. Little sighs. It seemed like you were having the time of your life. So if anything, I'd say that you're the creep here. You didn't even ask if I wanted to cuddle. And since that moment last night, you've been on top of me every single second. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually a little thirsty, you know? But I didn't want to get up because I was afraid of waking you up. Because I know you would get very upset. Like you are right now. You are totally throwing a tantrum. I swear, for some reason, whenever I try to give you some sort of physical affection, you start acting up. It's like a cat. If you pet them and they're not in the right mood, they scratch you. 
he scratch me and sometimes it does sound like you growl quite a bit. Not that I don't find it attractive. I, I do. Also, I kind of like it when we get closer to each other. Moments like these, you know? Having you here. But with you, I only get to cuddle when you're asleep. I know your weakness. As soon as I call you over, for some reason, you always seem so tired. Whenever you're sitting next to me, you always end up falling asleep. It's like a little magic trick. I don't even know how it works, but as soon as I turn around and see if you're enjoying yourself, you're there with your eyes closed. And that's when I can strike. I pick you up onto my chest and cuddle you, holding you so tight. Last night, I, I didn't do that. It's just, when I let you rest, you end up getting on top of me. I think that's enough scientific evidence to prove that you do like cuddles. At least a little bit. Hmm? You're not buying it, huh? Maybe, for some reason, you're afraid of getting attached. Somewhere deep down inside you, you know that you like to cuddle. And guess what? I like it too. Yeah, I, I really do. There's nothing cuter than a boyfriend who's all tough on the outside. But when he's alone with his girlfriend, he's so clingy. It's like he's completely attached. I don't really know much about your love experience, but me personally, that's my form of love. I like you, and I like you knowing that I love you. If you ever want to give me any sort of affection, any tension, I don't mind. As a matter of fact, I want you to because getting close like this, all touchy touchy, it's my way of showing love. And if you ever want to give it a try, that would be very nice. Yeah, just like that. No, no, baby, you're doing good. Just rest your head. There. That's fine. You don't have to ask for permission. You can just put your arms around me. Any time. As a matter of fact, I think I'll do the same. You are so warm and cuddly. I can't believe we haven't been doing this sooner. Cuddling you when you're awake is actually even better. Mm. Baby, is that a smile I see? Are you feeling all warm and fuzzy inside? <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, only a little bit. Mm. Yeah, of course. Because you're so big and strong. You're a tough guy who doesn't like having emotions, right? <laughs> I'll have to let you know. From now on, you're gonna cuddle with me. 
you can be like my big teddy bear. You know, I used to have one that I would cuddle as a kid, but I guess you're his replacement. Don't worry, baby. I think he was long overdue for retirement anyway. You're letting him take some rest. You, you're actually getting jealous. You're getting jealous of my teddy bear. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't blame you. He is quite handsome. And he's also a very experienced cuddler. But don't worry, baby. Even if you might not have a vast amount of experience, you're very good at it. Dare I say the best. I like this. I like this a lot. Having you like this, you've woken something up inside of me. From now on, I, I think you owe me some regular cuddles. And I swear if I don't get them, I'll, I'll just pick you up from whatever you're doing. And I'll cuddle you right there. That's right. You're not safe anymore from cuddles, baby. Except, I guess right now you are. Since you're obeying me. Close your eyes, baby, okay? No, it's, it's gonna be okay. Close your eyes. You just need to relax on top of me. I can tell when you're overworked and you need to get some rest. Especially when you're near me, it always happens a lot. It's fine if you have to catch up on your sleep. We can stay like this as long as you need. I'm just going to assume you won't use my generosity for evil, right? You want to cuddle because you're tired. You're so tired. And you want to lay on your girlfriend's chest. You wouldn't do it for any other reason, right? I won't shame you if you do, baby. But you need to know. Whatever you want, you need to be honest with me. Okay? Yeah. You lay here. Get nice and calm. We can stay here as long as you need. And on the weekend, we can stay in bed all day if you want. You're my cuddle bear, but I'm also yours. So you can take your newfound power and cuddle me whenever you want. I love you, baby. I want you to know that I love you. Anytime you're stressed, I'm here. Anything you need, okay? Don't worry. Now how about you be a good boy and get some rest? Tomorrow, we have a big day ahead, don't we? And then the day after, I'll give you a reward. Would you like that? You can come lay on my chest all you want. And do anything you want. I'll be a good boy. And go to bed. I love you.
Hey, baby. What's the matter? Come here. Do I always have to give you hugs when you're all down? So are you going to tell me what's going on, or am I going to have to pry it out of you? No, babe. I, I think you're beautiful and smart. And I definitely don't think that you're useless. If I told you that, I shouldn't be your girlfriend. Who told you that, huh? Just forget her, okay? She's probably just jealous because you're absolutely perfect. At least I think so. And that's the only thing that matters, right? Because I love you. I love you so, so much. So, tell me about your day. Anything fun, exciting, any new people you met? Hey, why, why do you still look so sad. Are you worried about something? Or is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Other than the, you know, occasional hugs and kisses. Is there anything else that I can do to make you feel better? Anything at all? You're so adorable. You know, if that's what you want, I, I don't mind. I'll sit on the floor right here. And you can be in my lap until you feel better, okay? However long that takes, it doesn't matter because it honestly might take quite a bit of time. How long has it been since we did this, huh? Maybe a few weeks. It was just you and me sitting here. And you were on my lap for maybe two hours. Until you finally got up. But that was only because you had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I just wanted to tease you. I'm. I'm sorry, baby. You know, having you sit on my lap for two whole hours was so painful. I bet you didn't think about that, but I was okay. I don't mind at all. Anything for you. But I guess you didn't really know that we're cutting the circulation off from my legs. There was no blood flow at all, and I, I couldn't even feel my legs when you got up. No, I'm, I'm not mad at you, baby, I promise. I'm, I'm just trying to cheer you up a little bit. I don't mind going through things like this for you. I don't mind anything. As long as you feel better. And as long as it makes you happy. It makes me happy too, you know? I'm, I'm serious, it does. I would never joke about something like that. I honestly would do anything for you. Why would you even question that? I would do anything for you because I just want to. It's as simple as that. You can call me an idiot or whatever for being so blind and naive, I guess, but I don't regret any second of it. And besides, we all know the two of us enjoy seeing each other happy. I love it whenever I do anything. That brings a smile to your face. 
There's no need for you to be shy. It's okay to be happy. I love seeing you happy. When I see you come home having a rainy day, being able to give you a hug or a kiss, seeing the light return to your eyes, it's all worth it. You look a little tired, baby. You know, you're free to fall asleep here if you want. I'll sit here for however long it takes. You could be falling asleep for eight hours, and I would be here for eight hours straight. Well, at least until my legs can't take it anymore. Then I'd probably just carry you over to the bed. That's actually probably a better place to do this anyway. We always sit here in the floor, and then it's such a hassle to try to get up. Honestly, I... Maybe I even prefer sitting down here with you. I like when you sit on my lap. In this way, there's... No way you could fall off and hurt yourself. I guess you probably think I'm super weird or something. Enjoying spending hours of my day taking care of you. You know I love you, right? I love you every second of the day. And for the record, whenever you feel sad or... Just not happy at all. Whenever the slightest problems happen to you, you can always come to me, you know? Don't ever feel embarrassed or ashamed or anything. I actually like it when you open up to me. When you open up to me, it makes me feel closer to you. And maybe I'll even get better at opening up to you and telling you all of my problems. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's enough just to know that you're safe and happy. I honestly think all of my problems just disappear. As long as I know that I can have you in my arms. Know that you aren't worrying anymore. My head just feels empty. Not a single worry in my mind, and the only thought to me is holding you. I guess that means I just don't have any problems at all, huh? I never want to leave you. Because if I wasn't with you, then I don't think I could guarantee that you're happy. You know, even if you found another girl, even if your life went on without me, how would I know that anyone would treat you just as I do? How would I know that they treat you right? There's no way for me to tell. But I think if I didn't know that you were in good hands, I, I wouldn't be able to control myself anymore. I wouldn't want to be away from you. I want to have you by my side for the rest of my life. There's not a single thing in this world that I think could bring us apart. As long as you still want to be with me. But you know, if you didn't want to be with me anymore, then who else would let you sit in their lap? Who else would let you be their good boy? Sitting here 
getting all the love and praise in the world. Is there anyone else that would give up everything for you? Even when you're feeling sad, you, you look really good, you know? You look so beautiful, so cute. Even if you try to act all tough, and even if you're scared to be vulnerable. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you blush. You do look even cuter with your cheeks all red, though. With a face like this, I, I just have to kiss you, you know? Just look. Now, if you don't mind me asking, did you sleep enough yesterday? Because you know if you're up all night with your thoughts, it's not good for you. So now I have to make sure that you sleep enough today, right? I know it might be a little too early for you to fall asleep yet, but I would love it if you were to fall asleep here with me. Just let me hold you till you fall asleep. Is that okay with you? That's a promise, okay? You better not get up. Just get as comfortable as you can. And know that you're safe. I won't let anyone do anything else to you. You can drift off with not a single worry in your mind. And then, carry you to bed. So just close your eyes, okay? And if you want, I can give you some head pats for being so open with me. You like those, right? Your hair feels so soft. I've always loved feeling it between my fingers. I know you always say you don't take care of yourself. But even when you don't, you're still quite beautiful. If you need help, I don't mind being there for you. If you need someone to help you wash off, or maybe even someone to be there when you brush your teeth. I don't mind at all, darling. I want to be by your side to help you push through anything. Whatever you might face. If you have hard work to do. Or you just had a bad day. I promise it's okay to come to me. I want to make your night better. Do anything I can. I promise when you wake up tomorrow, things will be better. Just know that every day you can wake up and look in the mirror and you'll see that you're loved. I promise. I'll be here for you and make sure every moment of the day you feel love. Get some rest, baby, okay? And let me give you a kiss just to tell you good night. Good night, baby.
I'll love you forever. Where's my pretty boy? I'm finally back from my night class. Oh, are you already all bundled up in bed? I mean, I guess it is pretty late, but I've missed you, you know? I was gone for like four hours, so how am I supposed to function without my little puppy boyfriend? I'll come snuggle up beside you and I can help you rest. Are you alright? Did you take care of yourself today? I know you'd like to play a lot of games, but make sure you hydrate and eat well while I'm away, okay? Hmm. You know, even though I kind of order you around, I do kind of enjoy how dependent you are on me. I feel really protective of you. <laughs> Maybe sometimes a little too protective. You can believe me when I say you're my perfect little bundle of joy. You deserve nothing but love, cuddles and kisses, all the head pats in the world. Oh, how was my class? It went well, thank you for asking. I have a few assignments that I need to finish this weekend, but... It's nothing I can't handle. I just want to make sure I'm giving you enough attention. Going back to classes was a big, big decision to make because it means we don't get to spend all day together. And it's a big change, but I think this time apart makes our time together even more special. Oh? <laughs> What's that? I'm sure you wouldn't mind if I got on top of you while we talk, right? <laughs> well, don't give me that look. You're just blushing from me being right on top of you. I can give you a treat or two for your good behavior, you know. <laughs> Such a good boy. My little pet deserves some treats, doesn't he? Yeah, yes you do. Because you're such a good boy. Don't think I didn't notice that you got the bed ready for me. You laid out my pajamas for me so that I could get ready and come to bed with you. You cleaned all the dishes that you used while I was gone. I'll praise you 1,000 times over. And I tell you, Good boys get rewards, and you're a very, very good boy. So, I guess the question is, what will you let me do to you? Hmm. I have been trying to treat you better, and I promise I wasn't kidding when I said I'm worried about not showing you enough attention. What's that thing you like? Want me to rub my hand across your face, right? <laughs> when I'm on top of you and I see you get all flustered, your cheeks get so rosy red, but your skin is so smooth. You have the prettiest face, you know? Mm. Not pressing down too hard on you, right? When I'm on top of you like this. I want you to be able to relax, but it has been a while since we've done this. I don't mean to ramble. Just relax, baby, okay? Take a deep breath and exhale. Any tension you might have, let it all go. I promise you're safe with me now, and I'll protect you. I've got you forever and always. Plus, I mean, I think I'm already stronger than you. Since I'm pinning you down so often. 
All right, well, I guess I'll stop teasing. I just thought seeing the blush on your face was enough of a treat for me. I wonder if you blush easier at night because you're so sleepy. You're definitely more guarded during the day, trying to be a tough guy. But I guess I get to see a secret side of you. Don't turn your head away from me now. Look at me, baby. Or is it too much for you? I know you are kind of bad with eye contact. <laughs> you don't have to try to deny it. It's really okay. But if you want to look me in the eyes, go on. <laughs> You're actually holding eye contact longer than I thought you would be able to. Although you kind of look like you're struggling a little bit. Is it okay if I get a little closer? <laughs> the closer I get, the more down you look. Are you looking at my lips? <laughs> Lost in them? Is there something that you want? No? <laughs> well... The look you're giving me says otherwise, sweetie. A kiss? I... I don't know. How bad do you want it? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? How bad do you want me to kiss you? Hmm? Really bad? <laughs> there you go. I can just lean down and give you what you want, or I can hover over your lips with my, eh, make you want it even more. What if I want you to pet? <laughs> Too much. Okay, fine. I'll let you have one kiss, since you are so nice. What do you mean? You want more? I said only one, you know. If you want more, you'll have to beg again. No buts, okay? Do you want kisses or not? Good boy. Now, one more, okay? <laughs> I love you so much. I promise I would do anything to keep you safe. You're so perfect to me in every way, and I really wouldn't trade anything for you. You're too cute for this world, and I want you to know how much I love taking care of you, looking after you, protecting you. It all makes me so happy. What would happen if I, um, kissed your neck? Hmm? <laughs> what would you do? You don't know? <laughs> That's kind of funny, because I, I think I know what you'd do. But, how about I show you instead of explaining it all? Just as I thought. You're all red and flustered. And your voice is so shaky. I love it so much. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get off of you for now. I'm pretty tired and I want to go to bed. <laughs> what? What was that? Baby, you're kind of hard to understand. You're stuttering quite a bit. Okay, fine. We can cuddle for a little bit longer, okay? <laughs> I guess I didn't expect you to be this needy. I really do like it when you pack. But 
You don't have to pack any more tonight, okay? You can have one more kiss. Since you're so desperate. No more begging, okay? That's all. Just know that next time I can give you a little more, okay? Mm. <laughs>